Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Jez. Welcome back to another Madden 18 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So, as you guys know, uh, it's pretty annual, annually, and annual. Every damn year, we pretty much take a break at the end of Madden, and like a long break, and just wait, prepare myself for the new grind, for the new Madden that's about to come. Instead of just, you know, pushing videos out and um, just regrouping, waiting for the next one. This year, I did it, like, way before the end time of Madden. And uh, now it's like, you know what, let's, let's get back in the groove of things. That way, you know, we're, we're hitting Madden 19 with a full head of steam. So we're going to get back into uh, creating videos maybe one game a day just to get back into creating content and get back you know get the ball rolling that way once madden 18 comes i feel like my commentary is on point i feel like i got some good ideas for you know uh some slick jokes that i like to throw in to uh, hopefully entertain you guys and uh as well as get my madden game up that way i'm prepared for when the new game comes up we're already ready so um we had an amazing live stream this morning for those of you who joined, I really appreciate it, man. We hit over 600 viewers and had a ton of subscribers and uh, just a lot of love. And it was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, we picked up a slew of new players, which we are going to show you. Uh, we are, we finally hit 99 overall again. You know, we had the opportunity to be first to do it um, once Marquette King came out. But I wasn't going to go out my way. To get 1199 overall Broncos, which was possible, to literally just take a snapshot of it and never use that lineup. Like I never was going to use a lineup dominated by 11 Broncos. It just wasn't going to happen. Um, and we could have did it uh, today. Once no, or was it yesterday when the blockbuster promo came out? All we needed was the punter. But I was like, I, you know what? I'm just going to wait until uh, you know probably the next day once. You know, the cards get cheaper. I'll just snag, you know, who it is I want. But uh, if we take out Cameron Wake here and we put somebody who is a 99 overall, like, uh, let's say, Jadavion Clowney, you will see that our lineup, our overall, does change to a 99 overall because we do have a, a 99 overall kicker and punter. But uh, the way I like to start my lineup is I want that plus two finesse move, the motivator from Cameron Wake. So I start him, and then once the game starts, I just go on ahead and I sub him out. Uh, I just want that plus two uh, finesse move for everybody on the squad. But it's technically a 99 overall team. But uh, let's take a look at offense, see who it is we got. We got an entire new offensive line. We picked up every single blockbuster player that was available. Left tackle, you see we got Joe Staley. Pretty much a 99 across the board for everybody. They all have 99 run block, pass block, impact block. Uh, awareness like really 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 good he does and all of them have secure pass protector and uh joe staley has identifier right here uh bitiono has lead the way with secure pass protector 99 run block pass block impact block as well as 83 speed which is pretty glitchy uh jason kelsey uh you see we got kels uh 99 run block pass block and impact block 83 speed for a center that's really good lead the way and secure pass protector now right here we have zach martin with lead the way and secure pass protector again 99s up and down the board 79 speed and then we finish off with jack conklin who as the theme goes 99s up and down with 81 speed identifier and secure pass protector we also picked up travis kelsey 99 overall blockbuster tight end with never stumble and playmaker 95 speed for a tight end that's viciously amazing 93 run block for him which is incredible for somebody who runs the ball as much as i do there's not that many tight ends or that many options outside of offensive linemen that can block over 90 so he's one of the rare players that you can get above 90 run block so i'm definitely happy to have him on the squad 98 route running 99 spec catch 99 catching traffic 99 catching card is just uh phenomenal uh we picked up blockbuster obj and this card is just disgustingly amazing 99s literally everywhere except catching traffic if we wanted to 
maxed that out. We can just go to the Giants training camp, but no need to go on ahead and do that. I don't think there's going to be that much difference between 98 and 99. But he is our second receiver. Of course, our receivers are being led by uh, Randy Moss. And uh, that's it right there. We did pick up the fullback as well. James Devlin. Now, this guy, run block is 99. Now, that's key because that allows me to put him in, uh, you know, whenever I... I want to run the ball. I can put him at tight end. Then I can take Kelsey and put him at wide receiver and give me some mismatches when it comes to blocking, having Kelsey out there with 93 run block against, uh, you know, people who have like Rod Woodson, Night Train Lane, a lot of these high uh, block shed cornerbacks that are in this game. Kelsey gives me a good shot to be able to, you know, seal the block and be able to run a field. So uh, this fullback is going to come in handy and be on the field a lot for me and we also did the set for Bosev Jackson now this card is disgusting 99 speed 99 agility 99 acceleration 98 carry 99 spin move 98 elusiveness 99 trucking 99 juke move as well and we're going to go on ahead and we're going to take a look and he actually uh is pretty decent blocking too um did I pass his ball carrier move? I believe I did. Let's go back. I'm sorry if you hear my AC in the background, but it's it's definitely hot around this time. So <laughs> uh, we're looking for his ball carrier moves. Adge Dang it. Maybe they're further down than I realize. I'm looking for like stiff arm and stuff like that. Maybe they were further down. I thought they would have been higher. I'm going to try one more damn time. If I don't see it, David, just believe me. They're all really, really, really high. <laughs> They're here somewhere. This is why I don't get old. Don't get old and, and, and become blind like me. All right, here we go. That's because I was expecting them to be blue with the boost, but they're already maxed out. Anything that's not blue means it's unaffected. And if it's unaffected because we have Coach Madden and Chemistry Boost, that means it's already maxed out at 99. So I was just looking for a whole bunch of blues, but he's so maxed out, everything here is 99. So you see Ball Carry Vision, Stiff Arm, Juke Move, all that's 99 without him needing any boost whatsoever. His Spin Move is a 99 because of his boost. So uh, the card is just phenomenal. 99 Trucking. 90 uh everything is just you know great defensively though uh there was a few players i was looking at but uh not really interested in a lot of them uh i was interested in luke keekly but i run a 4-3 if i ran a 3-4 100 i would go with keekly over ray ray but because i run a 4-3 shazier is going to be my middle linebacker at all times so he's not going to need to uh leave the field so uh we're going with shazier over Keekly, even though Keekly is a monster, you know, he's taller, uh, got really good speed, great zone coverage. But this Shazier with secure tackler out my way, the chems and damn near 99 speed, we're gonna go with Shazier. I did go with Cam Chancellor over Eric Berry, both of them are extremely similar. Um, Cam Chancellor does have secure tackler as well as uh, Eric Berry, who has that as well, but he also has footsteps so that right there could you know maybe cause just one incompletion a game I, I think that could be worth it uh because who knows it could be in a big spot it could be a big third down a big crucial fourth down to where he can force an incomplete pass due to the chemistry uh as well as him being a lot taller uh, i played three or four games on stream and uh he had a handful of interceptions because he's so tall like he was just getting up in the flats they try to pass it over him and it wasn't happening he just jumped so damn high uh 96 speed 95 acceleration 99 play rec 98 tackle 91 man coverage 99 zone 99 pursuit 99 hit power again with secure tackler and footsteps and eric berry i highly recommend because eric berry is really 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 good but again cam is going to bring more height and about the same speed, Eric Berry is one speed faster. Uh, you see they're both 96 there, but that's not equating uh, Coach Madden bumping his speed up to 97. But I'm going to sacrifice that one speed for three inches of height. And, you know, Cam Chancellor is just, he's a monster. <laughs> and uh, that's it. That's all I got, you know, defensively. 
Uh, but, you know, I'm not sure when the last time I did a team update, but we got, you know, pretty much all the golden tickets, uh, you know, that we really want. Uh, at cornerback, we're absolutely stacked out with Momo. We got four golden tickets. We got Wilson. We got Fuller. And we also got uh, Mon uh, Humphrey. What Montgomery? What the hell am I talking about? Also Humphrey. And uh, we do got uh, Sherman. And the reason why I would like to start Sherman, you know, good height, great. Well, great height, good speed. But uh, it's very difficult to go away from Humphreys and Randy Moss. Both of them have 99 block shed. So it's very, very difficult to run the ball against these guys. Uh, because they just block shed so well. 99 speed. I'm not going to get outran. You know, if anybody has these blockbuster players, if they have uh, OBJ themselves, or if they have a uh, golden ticket Randy Moss or somebody like that, we're able to match up with them. And if you want to run the ball, again, we have 99 block shed all over the place. And uh, we're starting Casey, and we're starting uh, Wake here just for the motivator boost. Once the game starts, I pause it and I start Arakpo and I start uh, Mac. The reason why I start them is because, and I don't like to go out of position, but on DNs, these guys feast. You see Arakpo has damn near 90 speed, 99 strength, 99 block shed, 99 power move, 99 finesse move. And because under pressure is active from Aaron Donald, they are active with Khalil Mack and Arakpo, even though they're out of position. So uh, we have three out of four guys on the D-line with under pressure, and it works wonders. I've seen a few terrible throws from my opponent just because they're in the vicinity. You know, and having three out of four uh, pass rushers with high block shed, power move, finesse move, and under pressure uh, makes it very difficult for the opponent to always count on an accurate pass. And then we have Khalil Mack. You see over 94 speed, 99 block shed, 99 power move, 99 finesse move. The exact same as uh, Arakpo with under pressure as well. So um, the one person that I might get is I may get rid of Mean Joe Green to get um, 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 Geno Atkins. I believe he is the D-tackle with under pressure. And that right there would give me an entire defensive line while under pressure. The only thing is that Geno Atkins has jumped the snap and under pressure, where Mean Joe Green, who doesn't have under pressure, has secure tackle. And as a D tackle, that's very important. A quick block shed, and they get their hands on a running back. It's a guaranteed tackle. So I'm not really sure. Mean Joe Green is fantastic, so I don't really know if I want to do that. But if I do decide to make another defensive adjustment, because I'm pretty sure all the promos are done unless we get a 4th of July promo, which I'm not banking on. Uh, this is pretty much the team I'm going to have until Madden 19. And uh, I may go Geno just for the under pressure, just to have four guys on the D-line with under pressure, or I just may stay with me and Joe Green. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, that's everybody there. Uh, we have the kicker and punter. Both of these guys have 99 kick power, and both of them have kick, uh, clutch kicker excuse me, and focus kicker as well. So that right there is definitely uh, amazing. And Justin Tucker got pretty damn good speed at 84. <laughs> and uh, we are keeping Coach Madden instead of Blockbuster Coach, uh, the Eagles coach that gives you plus two speed. And the reason why I'm doing that is because of uh, Coach Madden, even though it's not plus two speed, it is plus one speed, but he adds plus one at everything else, you know. Uh, we could get Dougie Doug, but I feel like John Madden adding plus one, like literally everything, run block, pass block, finesse move, power move, hit power, block shed, um, strength, agility, throw short, medium, long, like everything, everything. He adds plus one to pretty much almost every attribute in the game, except I think like carry, kick power, throw power, I mean kick power, uh, kick accuracy, and like a handful of things, but pretty much... He has plus one to damn near everything, you know. And I think all this right here, I think, and we're going to run through this, I think plus one, <gasps> catching, man coverage, zone coverage, catching traffic, route running, hit power, acceleration, pass block, run block, power move, finesse move, block shed, throw short, medium, strength, agility, throw power, tackle, jump, truck, elusiveness, stiff arm, spin move, juke move, pursuit, spec catch, press, throw deep, and throw on the run is more important than just adding plus one more speed and losing all of those. Uh, but it is glitchy, though, because if you guys have the toughness chemistry, 
you have a possibility of adding plus three speed to any and everybody that has toughness maxed out. And that's pretty damn glitch if you ask me. So if you have a whole bunch of toughness guys and you got the Peterson coach with plus two speed, you're adding plus three speed to every single player. And that's that's great. Like, that's phenomenal. But we're going to keep Coach Madden. So, um, again, we played a handful of games earlier today on stream. Appreciate uh, those of you guys who came through, uh, came to hang out. Uh, we will be... Um, playing a game tomorrow and uploading it maybe one game well definitely one game a day maybe two here and there but you know a slow steady pace get back in a groove of things that way once madden 19 comes out we're you know full force with our commentary with our gameplay and all that stuff so unfortunately i don't have a beta so it's not like i have madden 19 to play so um we will be uh you know providing gameplay hopefully you guys are looking forward to this squadron um again the few games that i played it was really Really, really, really fun out there running with Bo Jackson, uh, having defense out there uh, with a whole bunch of golden tickets and on offense, all crazy offensive line. Cra just a, a crazy, crazy, crazy team. It's your boy GS, man. Appreciate the support. As always, we're going to go on ahead with signing out. Peace.